been a little bit since I came out to Massachusetts. So here I am. Uh, last week I was in Connecticut for interspecies. So now I am back at Grind. It's been a couple of months. They crowned a new champion. It's Jay Freddy. Congratulations. So had to come up. It's like I said, it's been a minute since I've been Grind and I love it here. So I'm going to say a little bit of the before. The calm before the storm. So you'll see a lot of matches. We'll chat with some people. So see you soon. Okay, great. What's up? <laughs> 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 we like to have fun here, pretty much, in any wrestling corner. So, this is the season finale before Wrestleville. So, I'm excited for this stack card. So, we got first title defense, which are between Muwa and yes. Jay Freddy, and I'm gonna kick his ass. I don't care how much the fans love him here. I'm gonna beat his ass. I beat him actually a year ago when he debuted. Now I was his only loss, so he's in for an uphill battle tonight. Ooh, I'm excited <laughs> for that. We have a lot of other banger matches. So we got like... actually a lot of Pulaski debuts today. We have Fancy Ryan Clancy debuting today. Mm -hmm. Andy Brown is debuting in the Pulaski Club today. We have Andrew Carter's yes. debuting in uh, the Pulaski today. And there's one more, and I cannot remember. When you can't Manders. remember your own car. Manders, no, right? Manders has been here a couple oh, times. Yeah. <laughs> no, Blackwood. Blackwood. Blackwood, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm there's a, so many people and there's like... <laughs> I, I, I wrestled three times last night, got in the head a couple times. I can't remember my own card. I know. You're we lucky I was able to get into the building. <laughs> <laughs> we saw, we saw the, the clips on uh, Twitter uh, about the food. Oh my God. I need a, to try this food. Uh, uh, Mama Colorado is a good cook. Yeah, that's where uh, that's where Uncle Drew uh, got his food truck idea from. I bet it's from that. Mama Colorado. Coral's <laughs> looking at me and judging me. He's like, Coral's like, no, it was actually my idea, and he just stole. Yeah, see, that's right. Keep walking. <laughs> You're busy. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, it's it's a stack card. It's always stack cards. So but yeah, we gotta finish off the year here in a bang. Definitely. Uh, any surprises that maybe we'll see tonight or at Russellville or any announcements? Uh, no. There might be a surprise tonight, but um, nothing. No, nothing. Just stay tuned for the Russellville uh, announcements because as soon as this show goes is done tonight, we're going full bore. We're going to be blowing out the whole card. There, we have eight matches for that. We got a bunch of debuts on that show, a bunch of first time matches, and we also have Emmy Sakura. So get your tickets. It's gonna be probably the only show that's using her that entire weekend. So be there on 12:31 for Restable. And it's at noon. I know it's early, but at high noon, we're gonna have fucking the best shootouts of the West. You know? Excited, so yes. definitely check it out. Well, good luck today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Another day of grind, which I'm really excited for. So tell us a little bit about the show today for anybody who hasn't watched Grind. So if you've never seen Grind before, it's a very heavily influenced Japanese promotion. Uh, very much influenced by like pro wrestling, Noah, All Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, I've heard people describe it as uh, hosses and WCW style cruiserweights. And if you know WCW style cruiserweights, you know you're in for a good time. And you can never go wrong with a hoss fight. Uh, Sinister Urge is the show that we're going to be doing tonight. It's the last one in East Hampton for the year, right before the rest of all. So this is kind of like a big send-off. It's going to be great. A lot of great matches. The first ever uh, Pro Wrestling Grind Grand Championship title defense. Jay Freddy versus Rip Bison. Kevin Blackwood and Ryan Mooney. We've got MSP and Miracle Gen. we got a, a bunch of amazing matches tonight. And it's going to be a great way to kind of end 2022 in East Hampton. Oh, so exciting. Well, we were talking off camera. We were talking about the perfect bridge. So everybody knows on this podcast how much I'm obsessed with the perfect bridge. But he's here telling me that it would be good if they don't do the damn bridge. I think it would be funny if there was someone who just refused to do a bridge because you're here. That's so rude. But then, but, but then you know, some... Someone, like, someone will do it. I feel like Travis Huckleby would be the one that refuses the bridge. Oh, yeah. Just, I definitely just, feel like well, I mean, that. You're, you're mean to his buddy Mike well, Sparrow, he's so... Just sad. I'm not mean. He's just sad. He needs to stop being sad. Ha has he done a bridge and you said that it wasn't good or something no, and that's why he's sad? He's just sad. No, he 
was just sad. So shout out to Corey because Corey said he's sad. So I just go with what Corey said. So he's sad. He's sad. He's just accept that. He's just sad. Comes out to cool music though. Comes out to really good music though. <laughs> what is going on? How are you? I'm doing so good. I'm so excited. So we're gonna have you on the podcast soon. So, oh, I'm so excited. we haven't dropped that yet. So but you guys are getting the first. You know, First, little, little right sneak peek, like, little, <laughs> you know, just a little bit. Just we got, a little bit. Just a little bit for the camera. So make sure you get all your questions in for him, and then we will ask them. Ask some stuff. There is. I was gonna say there's nothing off limits. There's like three things off limits. But you know, ask me stuff, and yes. I'll choose whether or not I'm gonna answer. Ooh, I like to, definitely one of the things we're gonna talk about is your gear because I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to give y'all the story behind this gear. Uh, it's everything. I'm so Ooh, so make sure you tune in for that. So, so we saw you last week at Interspecies. Well, yes. I did anyway. So you and Logan had a banger match. I love the spear. You give me a good spear. Thank I'm you. all about it. So, but today your team with Logan and we're making Mike sad. Mike yes. Sadros. There's a sign. There's a sign. He deserves to be sad for the rest of his life. With <laughs> a forehead like that, I'd be sad too. Yeah, I, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know? I'm dead. But yeah, so how are you preparing for this match with Mike Sadros or <laughs> and Travis Lickaby? How am I preparing? I mean, I prepare for the, I prepare for this match like I prepare for every, any other match. You know, I listen to my Renaissance on repeat, um, and I just you know I'm always re- you see you never have to get ready when you're always ready. I'm okay. always ready. To smack a bitch out. Yes. So make a match, make make Mike extra sad. Yeah, one hundred percent. Make Mike extra sad. So, but I'm excited. So excited. So I can't wait to see gear. I love the gear. So, but yeah. Woo. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Yes. And make sure again, tune in. So, so. <laughs> getting ready, gearing up, gearing up. I love the little the, the the glitter. Look at the glitter. <laughs> oh, oh, my mom. Hi. She did a real. I just want to send a shout out, out to my uh, my son Kyla. I love yes. him so much. I know I think he's gonna be here soon. Yeah. He's getting a ride from his uh, friends. You know, you know how them teenagers are. I know. You know how them teenagers are. Little youngins. I love them though very much. So we have a good match tonight. I'm excited. You all ready? Yeah, I'm gonna be the leader. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, me and me and Logan were talking about you before. Saying oh, all bad things. No, I'm only kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. So, but you're coming on the podcast in a yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah, that's gonna, you know, we're that's gonna have gonna, fun. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun. Looking forward for that. You bring that's all your questions, good. everybody. Yes. So we're all here for it. So come by the ocean. Kyle, tune in. Oh, I'm sure he'll tune in. He pops in my chat. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking some balls. Yeah, he's, he's, he's one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're excited to have you. Thank you. So, I'm but I'm looking forward home. for your match today. It's going to be really, really good. So, it's going to be fun. I love, 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 love being here. Yes, it's such a great vibe. Oh! I can't, honestly, I can't be more proud of these kids because it's all, you know, putting their, their nose to the ground and just working really, really hard. Angelo uh, and Joe Alexander, 
uh, both have made like, a really strong impact in grind. Pretty much, I mean, honestly, everywhere they go, but like specifically because we're here at Grind, it's important for me to see that like uh, these guys can come out and, and get in with a promotion that is so strongly based around how, first of all, how well you can do it in the ring, how hard you work, but then also how well you connect with an audience. And both of them have done an incredible job of doing that in, in a short amount of time. Uh, and I think the amazing thing for me is the fact that like there are so many other kids that I have at T2T who like would thrive in a setting like this. You know, Kwesi Asante is another one that I'm really going to start like, hey man, you really got to find your way over here because yes. I think he would you know, blow the minds of Western Massachusetts. Man, I'm excited there. Actually, uh, Joseph and Angela are going to come on to the podcast in a couple of weeks. Actually, oh, the awesome. same week, actually back-to-back -back dates, so, which so is glad. actually exciting. So I was like, yeah, I got to have them come on. So I've been excited oh, yeah. seeing them all over the place. You and Angela had a match last week at Interspecies, yeah, which was, was a banger. Yeah, so, it was a lot of fun. The kid is... He's just so damn good, so destined for great things. You know, you know, there's like a level of like really special when uh, you know, someone makes their entrance and literally from the second they enter to an audience that's never seen them, they're they're loved. And I mean, you can't teach that. All, all the bumps, all the everything, you can't teach connection with the crowd. Yeah. I mean, last time I was at Brian Joseph wrestled Mike Sack, uh, Skyros. Yes. And then today's wrestling Manders, which is insane. So, like, yeah, I mean, the, the competition here is ridiculous. I mean, it's literally like the best in pro wrestling. I mean, I, I'm sitting here, uh, you know, I've got to prepare for the match I've got tonight, but I also want to sit back and enjoy a lot of what's going on here because these matches are just ridiculous. It really is like the best in the country. Right. And uh, Joe is keeping up with all of them. Yeah. And, you know, not only keeping up, but thriving in that uh, situation. Yeah, and I like to, like, that we're starting to see them, like, all over the place, too, between Blitzkrieg and yeah. Mike, which is wonderful. It was uh, TOS. Joseph Smith, right? And uh, yeah. was it BST? There's so many. There's so many promotions. Oh my god! <laughs> there's so many promotions like going on. But I'm excited to get to the team with Angelo today. First time ever. I'm really excited for it. Oh man! So are you ready for Travis and Mike I, I, Sadros, I, I, as we like to call him? I, I, I think that we uh, we've been ready for it. I think the fact that you know they've done what they needed to do to get under our skin, but it's been really easy for us to get under their skin and just kind of. I mean, I'm no fan of bullying. I'm obviously very incredibly anti-bullying, but I think one of the ways to deal with that is to bully the bullies. I mean, there's no bigger bullies uh, in this company than those two. So getting under their skin, taking them off their game, that's the goal here. And then all we need to do is get it done in the ring, which I'm more than confident we can. Awesome. I'm excited. So if anybody who's like listening to this podcast and wants to get into wrestling, like if they're looking to like come to you to like train, is that something still that you're open to doing? Absolutely. We've got the T2T Wrestling Academy in Brooklyn. You can follow us uh, on all social media. Just search out at T2T Wrestling Academy, T2T Academy, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, but you know, no one's super active on Facebook except for like your weird auntie and uncle. So like Twitter, hit us up, let us know what's going on, hit me up, talk about your interests and I'll direct you to where I need to. Uh, again, we're, we're training the, the future stars of professional wrestling. We've seen these guys all over the place. And again, it, it's only going to get better with people coming through, so please, if you have any interest. Yeah. <laughs> listening to Father when I'll respect the ring. I'll respect the ring. I 
mean, from my match, uh, two great big guys moving way faster than they have any business moving and hitting each other way harder than two people who are friends should hit each other. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> That'll be hyped. That'll be hyped. <laughs> but I love it. I look at you like a little merch. Spy the merch, as they always tell everybody. Yep, it keeps, keeps me able to go to Disney World. Yes! Gotta pay for those Disney trips. Yeah, because they're expensive now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we gotta do an official podcast soon. So, yeah, totally. definitely. We're gonna do that soon. So, stay tuned and yep. good luck for your merch today.